Hi, welcome. I'm Donnell. Tonight I am going to be using some BT Art Box full coverage tips. These are matte and they're extra short scrollable. So I've already sized them out and put them on my stand. So, and I'm going to be using Maniology's Manny by Me January 2024 subscription box Perfect Pros and that included plate MXM 119. It is books, cats, coffee, tea, plants, everything I love and MXM 120. And also with it came this creamy caramel color, Catnap B503. And Literary Classic B502. Let's see it on the top right here. I have a stamper, a scraper, some acetone, some alcohol. Oh, and I have anything else I might need and, you know, when it reaches 60 degrees in Florida, we're freezing. So I have some hot cocoa that I just made for me in the hubby. Mm. Made with almond milk. It's really cream and smooth, creamy and smooth. So, all right, let's get started. So, I believe I'm going to start with Literary Classic and get that down on a tip. I'm going to be speeding up the video in a lot of areas where either it's just painting nails or I'm being very indecisive and you'll see my little clip I made to put in those points. So maybe I'll do this one because it has the books. It has coffee beans, but it looks like hot cocoa. So I might do that one. Oh, wait a minute. Changed my mind. I'm going to do this one with the books and the little mug with the little heart on top. So I'm going to go ahead and do that one. out a couple colors maybe that'll work so first I am going to paint the little cream on top Dab of white. Just making a mess. And I really splashed that everywhere, didn't I? Get it off before I stamp it. Clean my brush. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to do my mug in this candy apple B456 color. I'm not sure I've ever used it, so I'm not really sure how it really looks on. But let's go for it. And I struggle to find 
what tool worked best for me for reverse stamping. And I found, <clears throat> excuse me, this brush and I can't figure out where I got it. But, oops, I really missed the handle on that. So, as I was saying, it's super, super fine. It hardly has any bristles, and that's really what I needed. It was very little bristles, because I have a problem with flooding the design. So, um, it's called a Kalinsky brush, and the number is 00. It came in a multi pack, um, and this is the smallest, thinnest one. And I hadn't actually been using it, and then I was looking through today, and I seen it so I was like hmm why haven't I used this before so go ahead and clean my brush the red out of there I think I'm going to do the books in caramel B353 it's a little bit lighter than the catnap So it's just going to kind of make my pages look like those old kind of yellowed pages. Yeah, like that. I um, used to work in a library. Oh, I don't even have that swatched. I'm going to use Shibori B265. It's a really gorgeous blue. Kind of a purpley blue. <clears throat> hmm. Hope that's not too dark. That's good. This brush is working out really well. A lighter blue Indicon B200. Let's see what that looks like. I don't think I've ever used this, so. Try not I'm making it up as I go, guys. I I'm just playing around and doing whatever comes to mind first. Okay, yeah, I like that. The offset definitely makes the other one a little bit more purpley looking. Yeah, I like that. <clears throat> I think the little spill or saucer under the cup, I'm just going to go over with white since I don't have a white 
background. I gotta paint it in. <clears throat> Use me. I'm not in frame. Once all the surrounding areas are painted, it doesn't really matter. You can just go over it. There we go. I like that. Still undecided what else I'm going to do. Definitely going to do one of the cats because I want to see, I want to paint one of the cats the caramel color and get that cat nap in there. Um, I really like the cat reading the book and it says books and cats life is good not real sure yet I don't have a cat right now I had two of the best cats ever in my life with very unique personalities and um, <clears throat> I lost one quite a few years ago he was he was older but still very healthy and he went outside and something got him unfortunately and then it's just been about a year now my other cat um passed away from oregon sudden organ failure um he liked to hunt and so i believe he possibly ate something maybe a rat or a mouse that was poison that had poison in it and um because you know it was super fast and it was horrible and I really miss my guys and I miss having a cat but right now my husband and I we're really focused on different things right now and we're not really interested in introducing any any new pets into the house and we didn't we haven't we um had our cat strained early on to use a cat door and go outside to the yard to potty so we haven't had a litter we never had a litter box for years and we do not want a litter box so that's another reason and i got some of that stuff like really dried on there can't get it off so we'll see how this goes hopefully it's sticky enough and i think i'm off center <laughs> oh yeah big time <laughs> that is okay though <laughs> can't decide, can't decide. I changed my mind. I think I'm going to do the cat playing under the book. So many great ones, it's just making it really hard to decide. Using tape to clean up around the image. <laughs> That's cute. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to color the cat with catnap B503.
apologize now if you can hear my husband's TV. He is all the way in his office. But the dog probably pushed his door open, so it's really loud. Oh no! Oh, never mind. Silly me. That's the cat's tails. Give them a little bit of character light. All right. I really liked that kind of slate blue that I did for the one book. So I'm going to do it again for this one. see I think I'm gonna make these pages just white because I don't think you'll I don't think it's gonna be too harsh because there's not much of it Yeah, there we go. Do it on the index. And whew, I got lucky. Two things. I forgot to apply st the sticky base, so I'm lucky it didn't get too dry, but also I did not wait for that polish to dry on this damper, so it got a little bit kind of bubbly looking on the book. And the smay, the smace, this words the face smeared just a little bit but we'll see if maybe top coat will even that out so there's two and then what next <clears throat> i really want this book nerd on a nail um but I don't want it in black, so I just wasted that. I want it in pink. Again, I'm going to be using Pumps 463. Mm, that was not the cleanest pickup, so let's let's do it again. I think I over scraped which I knew I did, but I did it anyway. Let me scrape this way. Sometimes if you don't um, get a clean pickup, um, try your direction that you're picking up in. Yeah, that's much better. <laughs> I can't believe I just touched it with my thumb. And I'm not in frame, but I messed it up anyway because I put my goofy thumb in it. Um, one of my friends, she could attest to how often, if I'm not using gel, you know, something that you have to cure, I smudge everything. I'm sorry, I'm doing this in my lap instead of at the table. So, 
There's my book nerd. But I don't know if it's going to fit across this now. Oh, yeah, well, but I might do it this way just to different. Not even, but that'll work. So at this point, I had to mute the video and I'm doing a voiceover right now. I just continued to kind of experiment and play. A lot of things didn't work out, so I'm speeding through it. But also, my husband forgot that I was recording and he walked in and decided to roll around and wrestle with the dog on the floor and had her howling and barking and making a lot of commotion. So I decided to go ahead and just record over that. I apologize again for my hoarseness. I thought I was just having allergies when I started recording this. When you hear me clearing my throat sometimes and sniffling and it turns out it's several days later as I'm recording this voiceover and I have a pretty bad case of bronchitis. So um, just kind of resting and trying to talk as little as possible for the next couple days. Thank you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check the description box below for some coupons and links. Until next time. Thank you. Bye.
So at this point, I had to mute the video and I'm doing a voiceover right now. I just continued to kind of experiment and play. A lot of things didn't work out, so I'm speeding through it. But also, my husband forgot that I was recording and he walked in and decided to roll around and rustle with the dog on the floor and had her howling and barking and making a lot of commotion. So I decided to go ahead and just record over that. I apologize again for my hoarseness. I thought I was just having allergies when I started recording this. When you hear me clearing my throat sometimes and sniffling and it turns out it's several days later as I'm recording this voiceover and I have a pretty bad case of bronchitis. So um, just kind of resting and trying to talk as little as possible for the next couple days. Anyway, thank you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check the description box below for some coupons and links. Until next time, thank you. Bye.